This is a free course on integration. Throughout this course, we share will our knowledge of integration with you through video. We are Team Math Spy. Let's start it with indefinite integrals. In this video, we are going to study motivation to study indefinite integral. What is meant by indefinite integral? Geometrical interpretation. Some properties of indefinite integral. Alles klar, willkommen bei Marzpi. Motivation. How to find the area of the square whose sides are of length a. Take a unit square and then place it in a corner. Take one more, place next to the previous one, continue the procedure, place it in every possible position. Count how many unit squares are inside the square, there are exactly a square unit squares. Similarly, we can find the area of the rectangle. Things get difficult to find area of triangles. Consider a triangle of base B and height H. Divide base into B1 and B2. Now consider a rectangle of breadth B1 and length H. Again consider a rectangle of breadth B2 and length H. One can observe that area of triangle equals half of the area of these two rectangles. Therefore the area of triangles equals half of base into height. What is the area of these structures? What is the area of these structures? What is the volume of these structures? Answer to these questions resides in the study of definite integrals. To study definite integrals you require knowledge of indefinite integrals. Study of indefinite integrals is quite different from this. Differentiation of x square is 2x, sine x is cosine x. Then what is the reverse process to get x square from 2x, cosine x from sine x? Answer to these questions resides in the study of indefinite integrals. So, what is meant by indefinite integral? First, we need to know about a primitive or antiderivative. A function uppercase f of x is called a primitive or an antiderivative or an integral of a function f of x if differentiation of uppercase f of x equals f of x. x to the power 4 over 4 is primitive of x cubed because differentiation of x to the power 4 over 4 equals x cubed. Minus cosine x is primitive of sine x because differentiation of minus cosine x equals sine x. e power x is primitive of e power x because differentiation of e power x equals e power x x power 4 over 4 plus constant c is also primitive of x power 3 because differentiation of x power 4 over 4 plus constant c equals x power 3. minus cosine x plus constant c is primitive of sine x because differentiation of minus cosine x plus constant c equals sine x. e power x plus constant c is also primitive of e power x because differentiation of e power x plus constant c equals e power x. Let us come to a conclusion. The primitives just cited are not unique. In fact, there exist infinitely many antiderivatives of each of these functions and can be obtained by choosing c arbitrarily from the set of real numbers, even complex numbers. In general, let uppercase f of x be primitive of f of x and c be any constant. Then derivative of uppercase f of x plus c equals f of x, therefore uppercase f of x plus c denotes family of antiderivatives of f. Now, let us know, definition of indefinite integrals. Let f of x be a function. Then the family of all its primitives or antiderivatives is called indefinite integrals of f of x and is denoted by this symbol. Therefore, differentiation of uppercase f of x with respect to x equals f of x if and only if integral of f of x with respect to x equals uppercase f of x plus constant c where uppercase f of x is primitive of f of x and c is an arbitrary constant called the constant of integration. The process of finding an indefinite integral of a given function f is called integration of function f. Based on definition and various standard results of differentiation, we have the following integration formulae. Note that, in any of these standard results if x is replaced by ax plus b where a and b are constants, the standard result remains true, provided the result on RHS is divided by a. Geometrical interpretation of indefinite integral. Let f of x equals 2x. 
integral of f of x with respect to x equals integral of 2x with respect to x implies integral of 2x with respect to x equals x square plus c. For different values of c, we get different integrals which are very similar geometrically. Now y equals x square plus c represents a family of parabolas with its axis along y-axis. For different values of c, we get different members of the family of parabolas. For c equals 0, we get y equals x square, which is upward parabola with vertex of origin. For c equals 1, we get y equals x square plus 1, which is upward parabola with vertex at 0 comma 1. For c equals minus 1, we get y equals x square minus 1, which is upward parabola with vertex at 0 comma minus 1. Now consider the intersection of all these parabolas by line x equals a, where a is greater than 0. If the line x equals a intersects the parabolas at p0, p1, p2, q1, q2, q3, etc., then derivative of y with respect to x at these points is 2a. This means tangent to the curves at these points is parallel. Therefore indefinite integral represents a family of curves. Some standard results on integration are Text notes of this video is available for free in our website, click i button above or link in the description.